あこれより大使が入場されますので拍手でお迎えよろしくお願いいたします。To welcome you here today to Gunma University for special lectures by His Excellency Dr. Sergei Konsky, Ambassador to Ukraine to Japan. My name is Takako Uchi from International Center of Gunma University. I will be moderating today's special lecture. The special lectures the titles as a history and a culture of the Ukraine Cossack bring us all together. The students, the faculty, and the staff of Gunma University to support the people in the Ukraine who are directly affected by the conflict. This lecture will be the great opportunity for all of us to discover Ukraine history, culture, and then its people. And before special lectures by Ambassador, we will have some initial remarks. We are going to hear the opening remarks delivered by our president, Professor Ishizaki Yasuki. The president, the floor is yours. Good afternoon, everyone. In the name of Gunma University, uh, I welcome His Excellency Dr. Sergei Korsunsky, Ambassador of Ukraine to Japan, for today's special lecture. It's a great honor and a pleasure for Gunma University, as well as for all the students and faculty who are connected online to receive today's special lecture. There can be no one in our community who has not been distressed by the images coming out of the war in Ukraine. Unilateral changes to the status quo by force against Ukraine's sovereignty and unity are unacceptable. Our thoughts are with the people in Ukraine and the wider region who are now experiencing a terrible rate of anxiety and stress. Gunma University has set up a Ukraine Emergency Relief Program for students and scholars, directed by Professor Ijima, Ijima Sensei. And this month, we had two students from Ukraine. We would like to support students and staff in Ukraine who would like to study or work with us here in Kunma. And we would like to offer all the support we can. Kato Shuichi, as one of the uh, leading intellectuals of post-war Japan, says in his book titled Wars and Tanks, in the summer of 1968, Overwhelming but powerless tanks and powerless but overwhelming wars confronted each other. Relating to this, powerless but overwhelming wars are necessary to break the order supported by the tanks or forces. I believe in the power of wars to ensure people prevails in Ukraine. Having strongly acknowledged need for cooperation and a clear sense of united moral purpose, we at Gumen University firmly stand by the people of Ukraine. In spite of the difficulties Ukraine is undergoing, the cities of Ukraine are beautiful, rich in history and culture, going back more than 1,000 years. As I am a medical doctor, I know two outstanding 
Ukrainian scientists. One is Ilya Nechnikov, a famous immunologist who found phagocytes and a Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine. The other is Selman Waxman, who discovered streptomycin, an antibiotic uh, medication used for treat uh, tuberculosis. And he is also a Nobel laureate in physiology or medicine. Uh, personally, Nikolai Gogol, I am sorry, but I don't know the authentic pronunciation Ukrainian language, but uh, Gogol is one of my favorite writers. I like his short stories, such as The Nose, an Overcoat, and his play, The Government Inspector. I like the American movie, Taras Bulba, based on Gogol's novel. I like classical music, and I like the music of Piotr Tchaikovsky, and recently I knew that his family was originally Ukrainian. I was moved by his opera, Mazepa, and Mazepa was the Ukrainian Cossack. My favorite pianist, such as Vladimir Horvitz, Svetoslav Richter, and Emil Gielis, and my favorite violinists, such as David Ostra and Nathan Milstein, they were all from Ukraine. We highly appreciate to welcome His Excellency Dr. Sergei Korsunsky, Ambassador of Ukraine to Japan, for joining us today as a special speaker to let us see and understand the history, the culture, and the beauty of the country. Thank you. Professor Ijima, Ijima Sensei, to introduce us to the ambassador to Japan. Professor Ijima, the director of the Ukraine program for students and scholars of Gunma University, has been planning today's lectures for us. Professor Ijima, please. Okay, thank you so much, Professor Oji. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this special lecture. And uh, it's my great honor to introduce today's speaker. Yes. Excellency Dr. Sergei Korsunsky. Okay. Dr. Sergei Korsunsky was born in 1962 in Kyiv, Ukraine. He graduated from Kyiv National University in 1984. He also holds a Doctor of Science degree in Applied Mathematics since 1991. On April 14, 2020, Dr. Sergei Korsunsky was appointed ambassador, uh, extraordinary, and training potentially of Ukraine to Japan. Ambassador Kosinski has uh, extensive professional experience with strategic planning and development, including energy, uh, trade and investment policy, energy security, regional security, science and technology. He's a well-known expert on uh, geopolitical issues. He is honored with several awards by the president and government of Ukraine. He's an author of more than 320 academic papers and other publications, including seven books. Well, about them, uh, no linear ways in dispersing and dissipated systems with coupled fields in 1997, technology transfer in the United States in 2005, energy diplomacy in 2008, uh, policy, uh, sorry, policy, uh, foreign policy in times of transformations in 2020, and so on, a lot of of publications. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Please join me in welcoming our great honored guest, His Ex uh, Excellency Dr. Sergei Korsunsky. Thank you. 
question that can be to the master. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. Professor, thank you so much for your kind words. Uh, I'm very moved. Uh, and uh, when I look at this young uh, faces, I would like to tell you that I've been lecturing in Japan a lot in many universities. At the beginning, there were just Japanese students. Then I saw a couple of Ukrainians. Now I see a couple of this room Ukrainians. So I feel that later on I will need I, don't, I will not need to speak any English or Japanese. We will turn into Ukrainian. <laughs> uh, when I have a choice to talk to you about Ukraine. Right now we are at war, and of course I have a temptation to speak about those terrible events in Ukraine to bring you to understanding what is happening now at our home. But at the same time, I would like you to feel Ukraine by your heart. Uh, and uh, my choice was to talk to you about Cossack culture in Ukraine. And other issues too, but this particularly. Why? Because you will see that very familiar for you uh, such uh, ideas as Busido, as samurai culture, they were very similar to what we have had in Ukraine in the Middle Ages. And it's amazingly, uh, if you compare traditions in Ukraine and in Japan, we are 8,000 kilometers apart, but so many in common. And first, I would like you to see what is Ukraine, which we love. Then you will see a couple of pictures from what is happening right now. Uh, let us begin from uh, the simple statement that Ukraine has more than 1,000 years of history. Uh, we believe that uh, Kyiv, uh, our capital, was founded in the 5th century. Uh, in the 9th century, Kyiv was baptized by Byzantine, in Byzantine Empire. Uh, at that time, Kyiv was a